Hey everybody, it's Cody here from Some Guys Gaming, your one-stop shop for everything awesome. Let's get into the video. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about copyright strikes. Uh, recently, my friend Prohawk Gamer sent me a message saying that he got a copyright strike on his video. Um, that is a... That's a small thing. Uh, we've got the same kind of copyright strikes on our videos. It's when the YouTube algorithm uh, finds a piece of music that is copyrighted in, in the gameplay that you're doing. And what they do is they usually take away your monetization or take away the audio of the video. It's really your choice, whichever one you want to pick. Or at least we had a choice when we did it. What the YouTube algorithm is, is it's basically a machine and it is designed to pick out copyrighted materials on uploaded videos. Every uploaded video goes through a screening uh, whenever it's processed or whatnot. I don't know exactly how it works. All I know is uh, it, your video gets screened and if it finds something copyrighted, it will strike and it sucks. We've gotten plenty of copyright strikes. We got some on Ori and the Blind Forest. Both, I mean, when I uploaded Ori and the Blind Forest, all three of my episodes got copyrighted. It's fucking whatever. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight, that was the worst one. Or Arkham City, or whatever Arkham game that was. I don't know, you have to ask Corey. And uh, plenty of others, plenty of others. Um, and all of them, we just took away our monetization because I didn't want to take away the audio of these videos. And that way you'll just have a, a silence. It, it would be like that. Except less vulgar. It would be gameplay. <laughs> uh, okay. That, that was stupid. That was a stupid joke. So these small copyright strikes, um, I think you could get get as many of them as you want and they still not really count towards a big copyright strike. Now what I'm talking about, the big copyright strikes are if you upload a full movie. Let's say you go and record Deadpool with your phone. Well, if you go on YouTube and put the full movie on YouTube, they will strike your channel and give you a strike. A big strike, okay? And three of these strikes, you're out, just like in baseball. My favorite sport, personally. Well, besides mixed martial arts, baseball is my favorite sport. I actually played baseball a lot in high school. And mixed martial arts, I'm just now getting into starting to want to fight. That was a useless bit of information. I'm sorry. So, you get three strikes and you're out. But, like I said, it if you're a law-abiding citizen, if you upload in the rules of YouTube, then you'll be fine. Just don't upload full movies. Don't upload full episodes or full seasons of South Park or Supernatural or something. Don't upload full songs or full uh, albums from Mastodon or Gary Jules or Sun Kill Moon. You don't have. You don't do that. Okay, just just don't. You go on YouTube and you can find their full discography on here, which is shit. And and I don't get it. Those videos don't get copyrighted, but my Ori in the Blind Forest when it had. A little tiny piece of music at the start of the video. That gets copyrighted. But somebody can fucking upload a full movie and they will be completely fine. YouTube is broken, okay? YouTube is just broken. I've said that for a lot for the past couple years. This YouTube is fucking broken. Because it copyrights my videos. I am in my fair use laws or whatnot. And most, nine times out of ten, the video game companies do not care if you use their content. They, they just don't care. Because that's free advertising. You are advertising their game for them. Okay? You upload a video, let's say Far Cry Primal. You get a million views on it. Well, that's a million people that watched your video. And just imagine if 50% of them went out and bought Far Cry Primal. That would be... 500,000 people that bought the game because of you. So, if you get a copyright 
strike on your videos saying, you know, you cannot use this because it's part of, uh, part of frickin', uh, what's it, Red Barrel's, uh, copyright. You can't use it because Red Barrel copyrighted this material, which would be, uh, Outlast, I believe, Red Barrel made Outlast, I'm pretty sure, okay? I played through Outlast and Outlast Whistleblower, me and Corey and Kevin did, uh, so pretty sure that's Red Barrel, maybe. But anyways, if you get a copyright claim on an Outlast video, you can disclaim or you can dispute it. You can click a button, say, "Hey, I dispute this claim." Bam. And then what that does is you could write a message to a uh, YouTube, a YouTube um, PR person, I guess, and uh, the uh, PR person at whoever studio that you copyrighted from, Red Barrel, Ubisoft, Kojima. Or uh, Konami, I mean, uh, Sony, Ninten Nintendo. <laughs> no, don't even try with Nintendo. Don't even fucking try. Okay, you just you just can't get any. You can't make any headway with Nintendo. I've tried. Change your shit, Nintendo. Anyways, you could dispute your claim. Send a message to both uh, YouTube and the studio, and they will review your message. They will review the content, and they will drop the claim, most likely, because they don't care if you use their video games for videos, because that's free advertising. Nintendo, it's free advertising. Get your shit together. It's free advertising for them, so they will drop the claim. So if you have a, a claim on one of your videos, uh, gameplay videos, go ahead and send the dispute off, and you'll be fine. You'll, you'll be okay, okay? And those small little copyright claims do not count as big ones, okay? The big strikes are the uploading content, uh, uploading full content, like full movies, full songs, full episodes, full seasons, shit like that. So there you go. That is my take on copyright. Uh, I could talk on and on and on about this kind of shit, but I'm not going to. Uh, eight and a half minutes is completely fine. Okay, if you want to, go over to Boogie2988's channel. Uh, he talks about copyright. And Nostalgia Critic, he talks about copyrights um, in What the Hell YouTube and What the Hell YouTube Part 2. Very, very informative. Both Boogie and Nostalgia Critic, both, both guys very informative when it comes to copyright. And you can learn a lot from them. I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to copyright. I mean, you asked me about Smite, I could tell you about Smite. You ask me about copyright, I know a little bit. I can get my way around. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, I'm Cody here from Some Guys Gaming, your one-stop shop for everything awesome. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to, go in the comments, ask me some questions and all whatnot, and I'll be sure to answer them. And if you want to support us in the long run, hit the subscribe button. Let's make it 200 subscribers by July 4th. I would really, really like that. So share this video with your friends. Share our other videos. I'll see you guys next time.